Hello and welcome to Master Psychor. My name is Martina and in this video I'm going to show you how to do basic content editing with Psychor's Experience Editor. For the duration of this video we're going to be using the Dogs Alive demo site and we're going to be focusing our efforts in this region here where we've got a number of different field types to edit. Now to begin using the Experience Editor we first have to log into Psychor. And to do that, we type Sitecore at the end of our hostname, which in this case is Petcore. I'm going to log in with my username, which is Employee Martina, and my very secure password is B. I press login. That's going to take me, first of all, to the launchpad. And the launchpad is an interface that shows me all the other interfaces that I have access to. And the experience editor here is one of them. So I'm going to click that so that I can see my site. Now, as you can see, the experience editor is an interface where you can see the site as the visitor sees it, but you have the ability to edit and change things to the site itself. Now, you can see just clicking around here, we can't actually do anything. And that's because we haven't enabled editing mode yet. So once we've logged into the experience editor, the first thing we want to do is enable editing. And we do that by clicking the view tab here and the editing button here. Now at first glance, it probably doesn't look like anything's changed, but if we hover over these fields here, you'll see that we get this dotted line and also this floating toolbar around all our fields. If you want to see overall which fields you're allowed to edit, or rather which areas of the page you're allowed to edit, you can go up to the View tab and click Controls, and it'll put those dotted lines around everything on the page that's editable. Let's do that now. And you see everything that you can see now is editable by us, including these four fields here, which is what we're going to be focusing on. Let's remove Control so we can see what we're doing. This single line text field here is pretty straightforward. We can just click into the text field and start typing. And that's it really for single line text fields. The other fields we've got here are image, rich text and link. Let's start with this rich text area. Now, unlike the single line text field, you've got a few more options here. You've got some options to make text bold, italicized or underlined. You can add links. So if we select upcoming and italicize it, it changes the text. That option wasn't available in single line text. If you want even more advanced options, you can click this little pencil over here and that'll open a rich text editor. Now, depending on how your developer has configured your environment, you may have different types of buttons up here. You can see I've got an image. I've got the ability to add external and internal links. Uh, I can add special characters in here as well. And if you're feeling particularly brave or are familiar with HTML, you can go into the HTML version, the code version of the rich text editor. I'm not going to change anything much inside the rich text editor because this component looks like it only needs a very little bit of text and I don't want to overcrowd the home page. And that's the rich text editor field. The next field we're going to have a look at is this image field here. Now, this image is not what the visitors would see. It's just a placeholder for you so you can see that you have the ability to add an image there, but it won't appear to visitors like this. Let's click on that. And we've got this little button here that says choose an image. Let's click on it. And it'll open up the media library, which is this central storage space for all media. So once you upload an image, like of this dog over here, you can reuse it in loads of other places on the site. And if you need to change that image at any point, it'll change everywhere else that you've used it as well. So let's select an image that already exists. You'll get a little bit of information about it, the dimensions, what type of image it is. X that and click select. If you want to remove the image, you just select it and click this little X here and it'll go back to normal. But let's reselect that guy. There we go. Get a little preview and select. 
You can at any point upload images from your hard drive, but we won't be covering that in this video. The final very common field type that we're going to look at is the link field. Now, this might not look obviously like a link, but if you click it, you'll see one, it's called promotion link. And two, you've got this little link icon here that says that this is a link field we're dealing with. If you click on that, you'll see we have quite a lot of options here. We can add an internal link, which is what's happening at the moment. We can add a media link to an image or a PDF, an external link to a site that is in ours like Google, uh, or an anchor link, which will jump down the page, or even a mail to, which will let you specify an email. So if you are asking for feedback, somebody can click that button and it'll open a to so-and-so in their preferred um, email client. But let's do an internal link. So the link description is actually the text that will appear here, as you can see. And I'm going to send people to the volunteer page. And I can also choose whether I open this in the new in a new browser or in the one that you've currently got open. Click OK there. And that's how you edit very basic stuff in the experience editor. And like I said before, if you want to know what you were able to change, you just click this controls button here and it'll highlight all the areas of the page that you're able to edit. When you are done and happy with your editing, you can click save up here which will save all your content. And then you can submit this through workflow, which is the approval process. And that will go off to whoever it is that approved content for your website.